Welcome to the first of the uh, mix down tutorials. It's going to be teaching you how to mix down, say, a breaks track or any form of dance music, to be honest. Let's start off by listening to the track uh, with everything on it the EQ, compression, uh, and so forth. <laughs> As you can hear, everything is very punchy and smacks through the way a dance track should, in my opinion. What I'm going to do is um, talk you through exactly how to get it loud. Now, the first thing that I always say to all my students and to pretty much everyone is that you're working in the digital domain now. If you're working on the computer, you're working in the digital domain. Working in the digital domain means that you do not go over zero decibels, in my opinion. Um, a lot of people do go over zero decibels and they swear by it. They get the loud, crunchy mix downs and they don't even have to limit. I will contest that and say so you can get a mix, better mix down and better sounding results if you work below um, zero decibels. What I'm going to do is uh, turn everything down. In order to get things loud in, in music on, on a track, a, a big misconception is to turn everything up. If you turn everything up, um, you're going to you're gonna muddy up in the entire mix. My advice was to turn everything down to zero. I'm also going to turn off all the EQ and effects, like so. What I'm doing there, by clicking those, I'm disabling the tracks. Now here we go. I'm going to start turning everything down. Absolutely everything down. Whilst I'm turning everything down, I think to myself, well... This is a breaks track. What are the main elements of a, a breaks track in it for me? For me personally, it is the kick, the snare, and the bass. Everything else fits around that. If you've got those three elements right, uh, you're going to be laughing, to be honest. So what I do, uh, and I'll do this on all my tracks, um, you may do it differently, I do it like this. I mix down to minus 6 decibels. Why? Because it's got a nice line there. That's pretty much it. You can mix down to minus 12, 0. Um, I know other big producers who mix down to say minus 4, minus 2, and so forth. If you mix down to 0 decibels, you're not going to leave yourself much room for any adjustment. If you have to turn stuff down or to get something louder in the mix, you haven't got much uh, room to play about with. So, what I'm going to do now is just play the track. And what I'm going to do, my main first thing that I've got while wanting the track is the kick. And I get the kick to around about minus six decibels. Okay, that's fine, I'm happy with that. Now the snare. I'm going to see how much I can push it. That sounds quite good. It's not going too far over minus six decibels. Now I can bring up the oh, yeah. What about this bass line? Bass line sounds a little bit weak. That's not a problem. Crash, let's bring that up. bringing everything up. Keep, on, keep your eye on the master fader here. It's still not floating around too much. It's going up to say minus four, maybe spiking up to minus three. That's okay because we're still below zero decibels. elements and they're not the main body of the track. There's no point having these as the main body of the track. Now obviously if you're a pendulum and you had a, like a bigger lead line, you'd want that to be the main element, so you'd bring that up and allow that to sit on top of everything else in the mix. So just bringing up some effects.
say, are you going to get noise? If you mix down low, you mix down below zero decibels, the more noise you're going to be creating. I would say, yes, on an analog desk, um, that on a, say, a Behringer desk, that probably would be the case. On a good analog desk, no, that's not the case. Um, on an analog desk, I'll generally take it over um, and just drive all the channels a little bit, just to get that little bit of um, circuitry warmth. However, in the digital domain, there's going to be very little noise, especially if your computer's okay and you've got a good sound card and so forth. Um, so, between minus six and zero decibels, you're looking at a tiny, tiny, minute amount of noise, which is not going to be picked up either on a CD or especially not vinyl anyway. So what we've done is we've just positioned all the faders to make it sound good. So far, it sounds great. That's not a problem. But it just hasn't got that sparkle. It doesn't have that smack to it. Now, this is where EQ and compression come in. Okay. Now, let's first off look at the kick. Okay. To me, that sounds a little bit flappy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a series of EQs. I've got an EQ there, boosting up the low frequencies at around about 60 hertz, um, and taking down the top end of around about 900 hertz, just down by a few decibels, and a little bit there, and boosting a little bit on the bright. So taking the mid down a little bit, just to give it a little bit more of a, a curved um, EQ. So let's turn it on. Off a little bit flappy, on a little bit more punchy. Now to me that wasn't punchy enough, um, so I use this other plugin which I very very rarely use. Um, most kicks don't need it, however I felt this one did. Um, I use this program called Waves Max Bass. A lot of people use this and get it totally and utterly wrong. Be careful how you use this. I personally would not use it on sub bass um, frequencies, especially on a sine wave, as the sine wave all you're going to do is just add harmonics and on a sine wave you don't really want to do that because that's a pure fundamental frequency. So on this uh, plug-in here what I'm doing is I'm just adding a little bit more punch around about say the 68 hertz or so to so that's what it's like with and without it's louder but it's more flappy can you hear that? It's louder, but it's more flappy. Punchy. Now, because it's quieter, that's okay. We've got all of this fade level to use. So we just turn it back up to where it was. That sounds a lot warmer, a lot better, a lot heavier than what it did initially. Hear that kick now? Immediately it's sounding better already. It's sounding more like a dance track. Let's go on to our clap. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use again EQ, using boosting a little bit higher, bit of low, low frequencies, and again making it sound a little bit better. Taking the EQ off. It's not snappy, is it? Now it's a lot snappier. Okay. Um, the off hat, there's no EQ on that, uh, so there's no worries there. Doesn't need it, it's fine. It's just a pure little break that I've just got off the internet, it's not a problem. Uh, let's have a look here. Got my 16th, there's no EQ needed on that, that's fine as it is, I'm happy with that. This click. Sounds good as it is. I don't think it needs anything to it. 